I think we can only solve homelessness by learning from the homelessness experience. People look at me and they say, you're not homeless. Yeah, really, I am. <laughs> and I have been for a year. People need to understand that it happens to everybody. Jesus was homeless. His disciples were all homeless. It's my hope that, that by, I guess, aligning myself with, with the least of these and saying, look, this is the situation, this is what they're going through, maybe we can foster some more understanding among our community. That I think it's hit from top to bottom, but if you're in the bottom to begin with, you're really stuck. We have to move away from the crisis management system, and we have to move in to stability, we have to move in to partnerships and collaboration, we have to be smarter about how we deliver services, and we have to be more efficient in how we use the resources that are available. As far as the help for homeless people, they should like make like work programs to where they open up a house, and as long as you're working, volunteering, you got a place to stay, but they don't do that. Just because someone doesn't have money or a home doesn't take away their value as a human being. It takes people having compassion for other people, you know, in our community, and it takes our community coming together and working together as one to solve this problem. If you're trying to solve homeless on the far left or far right, it won't work. You gotta solve it in the logical middle. I think there's um, huge value in having the community drive it rather than government. I think government needs to be a player, but I don't think it needs to drive the bus. People don't realize uh, this is happening in their community. If they are, they're, they're, they're in denial, and uh, I think it's time we step up as a community, being how wealthy we are and how many resources we have here, and deal with this issue. There's no one solution. It's got to be a collection of solutions, and it takes a little while to put it together, but again, if people are starting to recognize that something's got to be done, it makes it, it, makes it work better. But you know what, no matter what people's motivations are for wanting to solve this problem, it's okay by me. Whether they want to solve the problem because they see an economic benefit uh, to the downtown, or because they don't want to uh, encounter homeless citizens on their day-to-day -day lives, or because they're genuinely compassionate, uh, I really don't care what people's motivations are. Let's all work together to find a solution. And I think it's a great challenge to Sarasota. They've had, as I say, they've had challenges before. We pride ourselves on excellence. And uh, so step up, Sarasota. <laughs> we are the conduits of the compassion and the care that we want our community to be known for. And I think that this opportunity could allow us to, to shine the light to other communities and show them that this is the way it should be done. I'd like for Sarasota to be that, a community that says this is the way it should be done.